This next performer has amazed audiences around the world for over 25 years. He's entertained our troops with the USO, and today he performs exclusively in residency for the Palace Resorts in Cancun, Mexico. Please join me as we welcome the astounding David McGee. David, welcome. Thank you, sir. Great having you here. Thank you, Governor. It is an absolute uh, privilege to be here tonight. Um, you know, I grew up, you had a guest on your show a while back, uh, the amazing Kreskin. Yes. I grew up not very far from him, Shreveport, Louisiana. Hmm. And he was the first person that I ever saw as a mind reader. Yeah. But even as a young child, when I watched it, I, I remember when it was finished, I thought, well, that had to all be set up. Yeah. They set it up. So I decided tonight that I was going to actually do two things, two things this evening. First of all, I'm going to demonstrate how you would appear to read a person's mind. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to be very honest and upright and full disclosure. You and I spoke before the show, and I came up to you, and correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I said, I want you to think of someone famous. Yes, you did. I said they can be male or female. Yes. I said they can be dead or alive. Yep. They could be an actor, a singer, a comedian, sports figure, presidential, um, uh, uh, world leader, historian. Yeah. Correct? Right. I said, now, don't write their name down, but I want you to think of their name yeah. and visualize them. Um, and I want you to do that right now for me, if you will. Okay. Visualize the person. Look directly at me, if you will, for just okay. a moment. All right. I'm going to go with this. Now, I have to tell you, a lot of people, you being from ministry at a point in your life, most people would have thought that you might have thought of someone like Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but you didn't. No, I didn't. You went with something else that was another love in your life. Would you tell us for the first time in a loud, audible voice so everyone can hear it, who was the person you were thinking of? Johnny Cash. That is exactly who I got. <laughs> now. Now. Okay. What? The that's response, crazy. No, no. The response is He merited. has stood on this stage. Well, that's right. And the response yeah. is merited. But here's what I say. I don't believe that anyone can read your mind. But think about this. What if someone could plan a thought in your mind and then retrieve it? It looks like they really read your mind. Yeah. Correct? So I'm going to ask you to do me a favor and have okay. a seat for just a moment. All have right. a seat right there. All right. I'm going to put this uh, right on your on your lap, your, your legs together, okay. if you will, your arms by your hands by your side. Okay. And I'm going to record a little something here uh, that I don't want you to see. Uh, and I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Um, tilt your legs up a little bit so that, there we go, perfect, okay. just like that so it doesn't rub off into it all. All right. I've asked Keith to pick four people from the audience that I have not ever met. Mm. Haven't met these people. Keith, where are you? Have you okay. done it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have a I'm, person stand I'm up, ready. Keith. You, sir. All right. Samaritan's stand person. up. Stand up. Okay. Sir, would you please look directly at me? I'm not going to ask you your name or where you're from. I don't want to connect with you. This has got to be perfectly organic. We've never met, obviously, so I won't have to repeat that again to anyone else. I want you to open your mind and think of a single-digit number, a single-digit number between zero and nine. When I clap my hands, I want you to say the number into the microphone. Immediately, your mind starts thinking of numbers. Just the first one that really pops into your mind. Open your mind, clear your thoughts, look directly at me right there. Three. The number three. That's our first number. Thank you. Have a seat. A second person, please, Keith. Okay. I, I, I hate to do this, but I, it's just it's just it's just too clear a shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ma'am, would you stand up? <laughs> okay. Uh, you recognize her? Yes, I do. <laughs> and we have not met or set anything up. True. Correct? Yeah. Absolutely. Look how look happy she looks. She has never met me. All right. You were so Janet. good, mate. <laughs> Did you hear that? I am so dead meat. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you read that? Think of a number between zero and nine. Look directly at me. Concentrate on the number. When you hear me clap, you'll say it into the microphone right there. Eight. Eight. Thank you very much. Another person quickly, please. Okay, let's see if I can find somebody that's not a spouse of somebody. All right. <laughs> that's on the show. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Would you stand up? <laughs> Concentrate on the number, please. Look directly at me. Concentrate from zero to nine. 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 Have a seat. One more person. Okay, Can one more person. I've been sitting down there just thinking about this guy right here. I like his hat, so let's give it a whirl. Okay. Sir, look at me. Open your mind. Clear your thoughts right there. Seven. Seven. Thank you very much. Four people that I've never met. Can someone remember what the numbers were? What were they? Three, eight. Three, eight, nine, and seven. seven. 
3, 8, 9, and 7. This is the most and the closest thing you'll ever see to real mind reading. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give them all oh, a round of applause, if you will. Ah. Doesn't get any better than that, Governor. That is just Doesn't amazing. get any better than that. Wow. There you go. Well, if you want to see more of the captivating David McGee, and I bet you do, visit Huckabee.tv. We will make the connection for you. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Since you made it here to the end, that must mean you like the video. So you might as well subscribe and hit that notification bell below. But if you really hated it, just click the like button three times.